Greetings to all. Welcome back to my channel, Success Drivers by Deepthi. In my today's video, we are going to learn some positive adjectives or the positive words that you can use to describe the people around yourself, be it your family, friends, relatives, neighbors, etc. So let us start learning these describing words. So the first word here says ambitious. Ambitious. The word ambitious means a person who is high on desires, a person who is striving towards the success, is an ambitious person. So let us take an example that how you can use this word to describe the people around yourself. Aman is an ambitious person. He is striving towards the success. So Aman is an ambitious person. He wants to take his company to a newer head. So this is the first word, ambitious. Now let us look at the second word. The second word here is amiable. Amiable. Amiable is a person who is friendly and good natured. A person who is outgoing. So you can use this word to describe your friends who are good natured. So let us take an example here. I love going to my doctor because he is an amiable person. That means he is a very friendly person. So the second word here is amiable. Now let us look at the third describing word. The third describing word is compassionate. Compassionate. Now compassionate is a person that means a person who is empathetic. Empathetic means a person who is deeply aware of someone else's sufferings. So let us take an example that how you can use this word in your day to day life. Now let us look at the example. The compassionate man donated half of his salary for the charity. So the compassionate word here refers to an empathetic person. Empathetic means a person who is deeply aware of someone else's grievings. So the third word here is compassionate. Now let us look at the fourth word here. The fourth word is diligent. Diligent. So the word diligent here means a person who is hardworking and focused. So how can you use this word in your day to day life to describe the people? Let us take an example for the same. The example here states their lawyer was extremely diligent in presenting their case. That means the lawyer was hardworking and focused. So the fourth word here is diligent. Now let us look at the fifth word. The fifth word here is ebullient. Ebullient. The, uh, uh, the word ebullient means a person who is enthusiastic, a person who is high on spirits or a person who is zestful. That is full of energy. So the word ebullient means enthusiastic. Now let us take an example here. He was so ebullient during the presentation that no one noticed his gaps. So the person here is ebullient, that means enthusiastic. Now let us look at the another word. The another word is gregarious, gregarious. Now gregarious means a person who is sociable or outgoing. So gregarious means sociable and outgoing. Let us take an example here. Joe being a gregarious person is the life of the party. So Joe is a gregarious person. Now gregarious means a person who is sociable and outgoing. So the seventh word here is persistent. Persistent. Now this is a very common word. Now let us learn the meaning of this word persistent. Persistent is a person who has been trying to do some work for a continuous period. Now this person is quite determined. So he is called a persistent person. Now let us take an example of persistent. She is a persistent person in pursuing her job. Now this person or she here is a persistent person. So persistent means a person who is determined to do something for a longer period. Now let us look at the eighth word. The eighth word says sang Freud. Sang Freud. Now this one is a quite modern word. So let us learn the meaning of this word, sang Freud. Sang Freud means a person who is self-confident as well as a person who is calm in the difficult situations as well. So now let us learn to use this word in these sentences. The surgeon knew that he had to be sang Freud while performing the complicated surgery. 
That means the surgeon knew that he had to be calm during the difficult situations. So the word here is sang Freud. Now let us look at the ninth word. The ninth word is solve. Solve. So this word means someone who is elegant, polite, poised and confident. So let us try to take an example here. Deepika Padukone looked soft in her recent photo shoot. That means Deepika Padukone looked very elegant in her recent shoot. Now let us look at the last word of the day. The last word here is versatile. Versatile. Again, this one is a very common word. What does this word versatile here means? A person who is able to do a lot many things all together. So let us take an example here. Sushant Singh Rajput was a versatile actor since he could dance, act, sing, etc. So he was a versatile actor. So these were all the vocabularies for today. We have learned them very well and acquired all the vocabularies. It is, isn't it? So now we'll be meeting in my next video. Till then, bye.